So today we're going to fix your ball striking by using a kid's or a dog's toy. So we're going to work on how we can recenter your body, get the pressure in your body in the right place at the right time to ensure ball and turf contact, pure strikes and those penetrating marvellous iron shots that we see all the top players in the world hit on TV all the time. And hopefully we'll get our own version of those shots, even if it's a bit shorter, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, whatever it might be, but your own version of your own best iron shot you can play. Keep watching to learn how. So as I said in the introduction, we're going to use a kid's toy. This is just a squeaky toy. This is one of my son's sensory toys he had when he was a little toddler. So it makes a slight squeak in it. Not all the time, but it does make a squeak in it most of the time. You can use obviously anything else that gives you some feedback if you want from an Audrey sense like that. And we're going to place this under my lead foot. So if we just do this in the practice swing sense initially, if I put that under my lead foot, so you have to let the ball obviously fill back up with air and you can hear noise from it each and every time. It's not the loudest thing in the world, but it gives me some sense. So the idea would be basically, when I get to kind of the top of my backswing, right about here, so as my arm gets past parallel, my weight will start to recenter itself and pressure will go more towards my lead foot. So if you imagine we're 50-50 at address, when my arm's about here, my weight would be about 80%, or my pressure would be about 80% of my trail foot. As I get to the top of the swing, my pressure is going to be more or less 60% on my, on, my, on my trail foot. So 20% of my pressure is moving towards the lead side as I get to the top of my backswing. As I start down, it's rapidly going to move into my lead side, and I'll get about 80% of my pressure impact. That's what we're kind of looking for. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about if it was 85 or if it was 90 or if it was 75 we want to be making sure most of our pressure is on our leaf at our contact and we want to make sure once we get past our arm parallel that our weight would start to go into our lead side if you imagine what the body's doing as i start to extend my body here so chest up look that's when my weight will start to favor my lead side again and that's when we will start to start to hear the pressure on the ball and around that transition area really as we start down real pressure into the ground and making a squeak on the ball. So let's just go through that. So again, I'm keeping my foot off the ground at the moment so it's not pressuring the ball. I'm trying to pressure that ball exactly at that point. Now the ball's not squeaking that well today, but I'm still getting the sense of squashing the ball. And again, you could use half a tennis ball if you wanted to, to do the same thing. So we're going to try and hit a ball now. I've got to try and get this blue ball in the right location to get me set up to this ball. So if I'm stood about there, start squeaking now. So the main thing is my foot's off the ground, and then I'm looking to recenter and repressure that ball as I hit through the shot. Really crisp strike there, really straight shot too. Certainly the best one I've hit today. But really felt I put my weight, my pressure through that ball in that key area of the golf swing. Now, if you're a bit of a picker of the ball, I call it, where you don't take a lot of divots, this exercise would certainly help you feel that you're recentering and moving your weight in the right place to give you that ball and turf contact every time. So for me, it's a vital exercise you can do without hitting balls little kind of leg stamp and again if you don't want to buy a ball you can just do this foot stamp and leg stamp the same way to feel that pressure and recentering that's going to help you no end with your ball striking give it a go and let me know down below how it feels how it changes your contact and your ball flight so thanks for checking out this video on how to recenter and improve your ball striking i hope it helps you a bunch if it does make sure you let me know down below also please if you've enjoyed the video like and share the video it really helps me and my channel if you can do that for me if you haven't already subscribed please hit my logo this bottom corner and join me in my journey let me help improve your golf so it's been great to have you here today hope to see you here in my next video i launch videos every single week thanks for checking it out and thanks for tuning in today i hope you're staying safe and i'll see you again here soon